We're here uh, talking with Lewis Polk. Lewis is the president of Aristocraft Trains, and we're going to be talking about one of his new products out. Uh, and it's interesting because it's an EMD uh, Class 66 locomotive, which is still in production today. But the interesting part about it is it was built and delivered for use in the United Kingdom and continental Europe. So this is a different kind of product for Aristocraft Trains. And Lewis, I'm glad you're here with us today. I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit, what is this Class 66 engine all about? Well, it is a locomotive uh, that is built in Canada, in the Toronto area, for the European market. Uh, frankly, they just couldn't build them the way they wanted them, and they selected the American company to build them. And uh, EMD is sending them out to Europe and to probably a dozen countries within Europe the biggest user, though, is England, and these are a lower-profile train that would never run in the United States, and they're lower to go through the much older low tunnels that are prevalent in England and in Europe. So that's the history of it. Uh, they came to the American market to supply a need. Well, Bachmann is my uh, exporter for all of Europe. And uh, Marion and I went to visit uh, Bachmann in England, and we had a sales meeting with about 40 uh, dealers. And every one of them said they would like us to make a Class 66. And several years later, we had the opportunity. Now, I made it because I wanted to strengthen Bachmann's distribution of our product in England and Europe and by giving them a domestic type of train over there. Uh, their rent with their own dealerships are that much stronger. So it helped them become a better distributor of our product and it helped us sell. Fortunately, we had a lot of help from Bachman who had made this locomotive in HO and it had been their best-selling HO product. They had uh, over 250 uh, photographs they gave me, plus uh, uh, they gave me the actual plans from the real locomotive that they had obtained when they made their model. Now that made part of it easier. The hard part actually was the lighting. Each line, each, uh, pardon the expression, livery, or we'll call it a road name here, has a different lighting scheme on the locomotive. So how did we make lighting for every locomotive? We had to come up with a universal board, a PC board, with a program chip, and the program controlled the lighting. And we put a different program in for each uh, livery. So that was very challenging because we were doing half a dozen liveries. That meant a half a dozen different lighting schemes. They also have different lighting for night and daytime over there. And so this truly was a challenge. But we did it, and it's been a big success. So, Lewis, we appreciate your time, and we're looking forward to some of the other new and exciting products that you might be introducing. Lots more coming. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you, John. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.